Oh, there's some beautiful dogs in the park today. That Doberman, I guess, is maybe about four, five months. Baldy, Baldy, sit, ready, get it. All right, you want me to throw it again? Ready? Ready? Get it. Hey, I'm not gonna dig in that hole. Baldy! Come on, this way! This way! Hey, <laughs> sit, ready, get it. Bodhi! Come on, Bodhi. Sit. Ready? Give it. Good boy. Bodhi. Oh my gosh. I don't know if, uh oh, sorry about that. I don't know if you guys can see, but this tree here, I don't know exactly what happened to it, but maybe, I don't think a dog did that, maybe a person, but this thing is leaning like big time. <laughs> like it's about to fall over or something. All right, ready? Ready? Well, he's being a bit impatient. Ready? Give it. Oh, well, you got it taken away from you. That was my fault. I shouldn't have thrown it in that area. Okay. I'll give you a better throw this time. Thank you. Oh, what's your dog's name? <laughs> Choco. Choco? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know what? What kind of dog a, is he? It's a mountain dog. It's a mix from Taiwan, actually. Oh, a, a Taiwanese. Is it called a Taiwanese dog or? Taiwanese mountain dog. Taiwanese mountain dog. Wow. So that's extremely rare in the U.S., though. It is. Yeah. It's like a, a native breed in Taiwan. Wow. So did you...
go there to get it or? Uh, it was like a, uh, it was, well, they have like adopt centers over there. Okay. And they have a couple organizations over here to ship land over here. Okay. Yeah. Because there is extremely crowded, so it's hard for them to leave there in the city. Oh, I see. Wow, wow. Because I have a dog encyclopedia and I've actually seen the dog, oh, like, yeah. read about it, but I've never seen one in person. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Really nice dogs. So, if I remember right, I'm trying to remember what I read. Are they hunting dogs? Yeah, they're hunting dogs. Oh, okay. guard dog, too. So oh, guard yeah. dogs, yeah. also. Yeah. Wow. But you have it shipped, or you went there? I uh, have it shipped over here. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, because uh, the Foss family over there I, is my friend, so we're talking about that, and they say, oh, oh okay. you a dog and ship over here. Wow, that is amazing. I would have thought I would have never seen one of those, except for in my book. That's that's pretty amazing. And how old is he? He's uh, almost two years. Almost two years yeah, old. Wow. So is he an excellent watchdog? Yes. Yeah. No sad. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you know what kind? What kind of uh, animals do they use them to hunt? What? And and I think like. Birds, birds. Oh, okay, yeah. birds. Okay. Wow, that is so amazing. Wow. They, I know. Say, they say they can climb trees. That's why they have mountain dog, but I never see him do that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Probably if you encourage them yeah, to do it. Yeah, you train and ride, but I didn't train him to do anything. Oh, that yeah. is amazing. Wow. Wow, well, he's beautiful and he loves chasing the ball. Huh? He loves chasing the ball. He loves chasing anything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, well that's a fantastic dog. I'm glad that I got to find out about him. Yeah. My name is Jeff, by the way. Yeah, I saw you around here. Okay, what's your name? James. James? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you. And your dog is Cody, right? Bodhi, B-O-D-H-I? Yeah. B -O -D -H -I? Yeah. yeah, you see me running around always filming the dogs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's my dog's right. YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you only go to this park? Or do you go to On, this Only park? this park, yeah. Okay. yeah. How old is uh, Bodhi? Four years old. Four years old. Oh, wow. Four years old. Yeah, but he loves the park. He loves to play. Yeah. You know he. She's really well trained too. She listens. Oh well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's always a work in progress. Though. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fantastic. I'm glad I got to meet you and your dog. Your dog is yeah, is amazing. amazing. Yeah, yeah. When I go home, I'm going to look in my book again or look online and see what all more information I can find out about the Taiwanese mountain dogs. Yeah. Wow. All right, nice to meet you. Okay, you nice too. He smells them as he's driving up the street. Hey Tony, you got a fan club over here. <laughs> you got a fan club over here. <laughs> Napoleon. <Jeez. laughs> yeah, don't throw that. There you go. Oh my gosh, that was a huge piece. Who was it? That pile of fishes. Oh my god. Look at Tony. Napoleon, let him have his treat. <laughs> Napoleon, leave Bodhi alone. Again, yeah. you leave Bodhi alone. <laughs> 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 
I've never seen him bark at anyone. I've never seen him bark at anyone. I know. He, he gets into moods, I guess. Oh. Or maybe he knows something we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. I'm trying to figure out who that is because I didn't see her coming in with a dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, barking? I guess she has, a, she has papers for the bulls for more. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Her dog's all over her. She's like five dogs. Oh, wow. Yes, but yes, but 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 come on but 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 Bodhi! Time for a water break. Bodhi, 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 give it. Bodhi, let's go this way. No. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Bodhi. Let's go. Good boy. Why is he keen in on, in on him? Sorry, my friend. Not really. We had like 10 dogs and we could breed them sometimes. And then uh, once we got him, she started like breeding them more. And then we got like, and then after that. Oh, yeah, I bet. Well, he got his wish. He wanted the dog to chase him.
for kisses and stuff, but when he wants to play, oh, he'll let me oh, know. Oh, okay. Go play with the dog. So you're his number one playmate? Unfortunately. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to stop, though, because he'll, like, oh, you okay? Poke him in the eye. Yeah. He'll, like, uh, be very persistent. Yeah. And then, like, try to grab my ankles, cause since he's a herding dog. Oh, yeah. He'll come and grab my ankles to try to herd me to play with me. <laughs> And, yeah. Oh my gosh. How old is he now? A uh, year and a half. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, still puppy left in him. Oh, yeah. That's pretty funny. So he focuses, focuses his attention on you the most. Yes. Oh, okay. the, yeah. <laughs> with, with my girlfriend, he'll, uh, He'll dump like once, yeah, and then he recognizes that like he can't play as rough with her. Oh wow, wow! That and then uh, with other people as well. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm glad that he recognizes that because then he won't go and like that's jump fantastic. on my grandparents or her grandparents. And oh, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, there's my, a lot of dogs they don't yeah. know the difference. My, my dad loves to just wind him up, and then he'll, he just goes crazy. Uh -huh. And then my dad will be like, stop it, stop it, stop. <laughs> it's like, you're the one that Oh, okay, him that's up. funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Bodhi, come here. Good boy. The Greyhound the other day. Oh, yeah? Oh, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, no dog has a chance running away from a Greyhound. You know what? People were commenting that I released the video of the Greyhound today. And people were commenting saying that uh, a lot of them were commenting from like the UK. Yeah. And they're saying that the Greyhound, that their prey drive is so strong that when they take them out in public, that they have to wear a muzzle, have a muzzle on them. Because really? if they see small game, like a squirrel or anything small, or some people I think even said small dogs, they're going to take off really fast after it, and you know, most of, more than likely they're going to catch it, and that's going to be the end of that animal. Yeah, try to maul it. Yeah, so. He, my rabbit will get out sometimes in the backyard, and he'll go and grab it. And okay, and mm -hmm. and bring it back to the cage, or no, uh, just like hang on to her. Okay. Um, but then. He doesn't really rough her up, but yeah. he, he grabs her pretty good. Okay, yeah. And then she'll whine a little bit. But... I see. Well, that's good that he doesn't finish her off. Obviously, yeah. he's, it sounds like he's trying to hurt her, right? A little bit, yeah. And then he just, like, he wants to just capture her. I mean, it's a small animal moving around. Oh, I a see. Dog, so, like, very intrigued by it. Can, can Australian shepherds, can they be used for hunting, or...? I mean, I'm sure people do, yeah. but um, I mean, that is technically what a, a part of what a working dog would do, okay. but he's like, like that one, yeah. more for herding animals. Right, right. But I'm sure you could use them for... Yeah. Uh, I'm sure I can go on YouTube, I can probably oh, find a video absolutely. of somebody using one to hunt. Yeah. So anyone watching, have you ever heard of an Australian Shepherd? being used to hunt or maybe you've I, done it with yours i have not yeah no hmm. i know that they do use dogs like him and other herding dogs yeah. to um chase down like coyotes on ranches oh wow or if there is That's like amazing. a coyote problem they'll go and right. chase them down yeah yeah because they're fearless right they're fearless for the dogs. most part yeah. yeah i would assume so because they have to yeah. go up against big old cattle you know what those, those ones are absolutely fearless oh yeah the oh, yeah. uh yeah the the australian cattle dogs yes. okay yeah. yeah now the most amazing thing that i've ever seen an australian shepherd do is allow a cowboy monkey to ride on its back you've seen those videos i have yes those so are, funny those are hilarious it's so fun yeah you might have to get yourself a, a spider monkey or yeah. pet monkey and let it ride on his I've back. I've seen border collies run on top of sheep before, across a, a big what? group of sheep. Yeah, if you go on YouTube, you can look it up. Just put like border collie runs on top of sheep. It'll get on top of the sheep in like when they're crowd yeah. together and run across 
thousand sheep on top of their back. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow. It's it's the funniest wow. thing. And I was amazed at at the scene in in the James Bond movie called Live and Let Die, where he runs on the back of uh, alligators or crocodiles, whatever oh, it yeah. is. And you know what's interesting is that was before CGI because that's in the 1970s. Oh, really? And that was the real thing. Are a real serious? stuntman ran across the back. They had to get the alligators all lined up and then have them run across. And he had like special shoes on. Right. And they even have a scene, it's an outtake, where one of the alligators actually grabs his, his foot or leg or ankle or oh, whatever. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but yeah, that's a real scene. So if anybody watching, if you haven't seen that scene, you can actually go on YouTube and just type it in, I guess, live and let die alligator scene, and I guess it'll come up. But yeah, that was filmed in Louisiana at a alligator farm, so. That is, that's really So yeah, cool. have you ever seen that scene? I, I'm sure I have. My dad loves James Bond, so oh, okay. I'm sure I've okay. seen it when I was younger. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's really fascinating to watch because that was, you know, before all the CGI, these guys, I mean, they still to a certain degree now, but they had to put their lives on, on the oh, line. Absolutely. You know, whenever it's a car crash, that stuff was real. You oh, know, yeah. they had to, of course, it's planned out, but, you know, no CGI back then. Stunt men and stunt women, they're a rough job. Right. Yeah. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. Though. Yeah, every once in a while, some of them, you know, they die doing their job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Bodie, you about ready to close this video, huh? You ready? Bodie, let's go up. Up. Let's go. No, let's go up. Good boy. All right, go ahead, sit. Sit. Okay, so we're getting ready to close out this video. Yeah, we got into some uh, odd and maybe interesting topics. Hopefully you guys enjoyed listening. Hey, sit. So uh, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, if you can, please give the thumbs up. Leave a comment or question down below. Also, Bodhi and I, hey, a bit restless, are you? Go ahead, sit. No. Yeah, uh, Bodhi and I, we want to say thank you to everyone who watches the ads that help support Bodhi. And also, big thank you to everyone who uh, presses the thanks button that helps support both that helps support Bodhi. Hey, just restless. Bodhi, this way now. No. No. Come on. Let's go up. Up. Come on. No. 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 Come on, Bodhi. Let's go up. All right. I promise we'll get this video closed up. Closed out. Sit. Sit. No. All right. Like as I was saying, we want to thank everyone who pressed the thanks button and donated to Bodhi. We appreciate that. Also, before we go, we want to thank a few people who watched previous videos and left comments. Jaden Ariano, uh, Romelia, and Dixie, who newly subscribed. Thank you for that. Beverly Lyle, Jeff Tinney, Teresa Akins, S. V, I think it is, or SU, Dahlia Downs, TS, and let's see, Patty Crane. And I think, uh, let's see here, I think Romelia and Dixie, I think they might have a YouTube channel. So, yeah, check them out, uh, see what they have going on over there. So, until next time, Bodhi and I, we hope we'll see you on the next episode of Bodhi's World. Everyone, take care. Sit. No. No. Good boy. All right, see you next time.